If you think stealing a bright orange snowcat called General Lee from Mintern, Colorado using a Tacoma pickup was a good idea, you know, we probably have a little bit of advice for you. Hey, what's up everyone? Fred here with Uller Provides, and this is your Tuesday tune-up for March 12th. Apparently some dude named Jason decided it was a good idea to tarp up a 1970s style snowcat and drive it down towards Grand Junction. What he didn't realize is probably dealing with the most equipped individuals who have an opportunity to track him down. Let's put this into perspective. The owners of the said snowcat are referred to themselves as the Duke Brothers. They spend all their free time out in the hazard, this back country, and where they are pros at traveling in relatively horrific conditions, keep in constant contact with each other using radios and are trained to find lost objects and in in people in a debris field. And oh yes, by the way, they carry really big ice axes. Oh, and to top it off, they decided they were going to mess with our good friends at Weston Snowboard, and I just realized that Ben Haley from the group from Weston looks a whole lot like Jesse Duke. Yeah, good luck, dude. Good news is the boss hog of Mesa County found the beloved snowcat, and it's a huge shout out to social media for helping him get that. We were just one step closer to get, being out and catch that jerk. Unfortunately, there's more news to be had. Also be a lookout for the sign for Echo Mountain got stolen over the weekend. The general manager of Fred's class is really hoping somebody out there has seen it. Please reach out to them or myself if you've seen it. While there was a brief blast of snow this weekend over the Continental Divide on Saturday, winter has really certainly been on a short break with these warmer temperatures. This has caused some snow melting in the mountain and some icy conditions on your favorite runs. The good news from Joel from Open Snow is he has an eye on a couple good waves of moisture and colder air that will bring us a fresh, fresh blanket of deep snow by Sunday. Let's certainly hope for the best. Now onto our social calendar for the week. It starts off tonight at Neptune Mountaineering where the Colorado Mountain School are hosting their Break the Ice Before Break the Trail Happy Hour. There will be a talk about identifying remediation of common binding issues as well as skin issues, which will be super useful when you go out there on the trail. On Wednesday, head over to the Colorado Mountain Club for the Backcountry Fist Festival put on from our friends from the Winter Wildland Alliance. There will be several short films presented with plenty of time to socialize with others. Thursday, we are recommending taking the trip up to Breckenridge to the Colorado Mountain College to attend a critical discussion around the climate change in and around Summit County. With the snow tell at the top of Boris Path only reporting around 65% the average this year, the lack of water is an issue for all in the state, not just those up there in the mountains. It will lead to huge water shortage issues and we're all going to be hurting. The talk will be provided by Klaus Wolster, one of NOAA's leading um, environmentalists studying El Nino and La Nina effects. This should be certainly a super informative meeting. Hope your week really goes well and that you have a chance to see us. Until next time, pray for snow and celebrate when Uller provides.